welcome to Loki Season 1, Episode 3, Thoughts. Spoilers for the MCU leading up to this point, including this episode. And I may discuss theories that might spoil upcoming episodes in this video. Happy Pride, everyone. Loki is bisexual, confirmed, in the MCU as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure he already was in the comics. Also, there's a theory that Lady... I guess, yeah, let's go with Sylvie, since that's how... That's how she prefers. She doesn't like being called Loki. There's a theory that Sylvie was born as, um, you know, that, that like other Lokis, she was born a male, but she transitioned. And, yeah, that's, that's awesome. So, now, as usual, I recommend videos talking about Easter eggs and such on the show, especially videos made by the Rockstar Screen Rant, Nerdist, CBR, Screen Crush, and Black Nerd Comedy. Real quick off topic, I've been following Julian Alte ever since she and Ryan George did a couple of crossover videos, and I've been a fan of her ever since, but the most recent video she made, the video entitled I'm a Mom, really cracked me up. Like, right from the start, I especially love the phone call and the rest of the video from then on. It hit, it hits its absolute peak of hilarity, just absolute gut-busting, laugh-inducing stuff. So, back to the episode. So, let's see. So, yeah, the, the first two episodes have Loki in one historic event each. This one doesn't keep that up, but, you know, in, instead them seemingly stranded on this planet is... Yeah, I'm, I'm not complaining. And we open on Sylvie interrogating the commander by making her think they're drinking as friends. Very clever. And it's, it's a really great, because there's like this, we, we can tell that there's something off. And, you know, they're, they're talking as friends, and, the, and then suddenly Sylvie says, how, you know, where, where are the timekeepers, or something like that. And, and the commander's like, what? And then, you know, she, she switches to a different setting, and, yeah. Also, it, I, I don't know why it didn't hit me until I saw her sipping margaritas, but that's Sasha Lane from the 2019 Hellboy movie playing the commander, so that's really cool. I'm glad I'm seeing her in more stuff. I still don't think that movie's as bad as other, as a lot of other people, I guess most people who watched it do. And I th certainly think she was very charming in it. And... Yeah, really cool that, you know, right after the, the Ah, what's it called? The the enchantment interrogation thing. We see both of the Loki variants arrive at the TVA out of the tunnel. And since there's no magic at the TVA, Sylvie can't just mind control the, the guys. So, you know, we get an action scene. Very cool. I like, I, I like that Sylvie tries to use the most efficient way, even though she can kick their ass. I enjoyed the, the fight between the Lokis, you know, where, where Loki's got his daggers and Sylvie's got this long blade. I saw a, what was maybe the IGN reviewer said that it was less a fight scene and more like a dance. I agree, and I think that's perfect. Like, they're basically, they're not really interested in killing each other, at least not at this point, but they do, they just, you know, they just want to see what what's... How good is the other one at this thing, you know? Come any closer and I'll kill him. Go for it. <laughs> and Miss Minutes is the voice of the low battery. You're out of juice. As I mean I'm I, I want Miss Minutes to make at least one appearance per episode, so if this is how they're you know, yeah, for some episodes, this is the only way they can shoehorn her in. I'll I'll take it. I really, really enjoy her. Yeah. Where did you send us? To an episode title drop. Lamentis. Did they name it that before or after they found out that it was going to be destroyed in an apoplectic apocalyptic event? Because that seems like... It's, yeah. Of all the apocalypses saved on that tempad, this is the worst. This is such a cool idea for an episode, and it's 
it, it is like, you know, I mean, you, you might wonder, well, why did she save such a bad apocalypse? She wasn't expecting to be stuck there. She wasn't expecting to run out of energy for the, for the temp pad. What are you doing? What are you doing? Very funny. Excellent timing. And yeah, Sylvie legitimately thought that she would be able to enchant Loki. And yeah, I mean, he's, he's, yeah, that's uh, absolutely perfect. They, they've got great chemistry. And yeah, Sylvie says, you know, it's, it's an alias now. And now the subtitles actually call her Sylvie. And, you know, that brings up the possibility maybe it's not that she's secretly enchantress. There's an enchantress name, so Sylvia. But that, you know, she changed her name. And I, I like that, you know, Sylvie went up to the, the you know, I, I forget what it's called, but she calls it a nightlight, you know. And she was like, oh, I, I can charge the tempads of this, hand it over, you know. And, and Loki's like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, they, they both, again, they're like testing each other, basically. Of course she's not gonna be able to recharge it at that tiny little thing. Sorry about that. Don't be. I enjoyed it. So did I. Do they have cigarettes on this planet? And Loki poses as, I'm guessing, her husband or something, but he was too nice. That's that's such a great, like, just because she gets, like, she, she's clearly, like, somewhat emotional at seeing him again, that doesn't mean he was ever nice to her, you know, that doesn't, so, so that's a great, and, and of course he's gonna, that's where he's gonna go, you know, he's gonna assume, you know, this is the, so, yeah. And I like that, you know, Lo Sylvie's about to, you know, they, they're, they have to get the, they have to get aboard the train, and Sylvie is like, you know, I, I can mind control people. You know, it's, it's, if if everything looks like a hand, if everything looks like a nail, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I got there eventually. There we are. And you know, Loki changes his appearance into a guard, and you know, they they it, it works out, and and he's like, see, it's, you know, my my plan worked, and she's like. That wasn't a plan. A plan has multiple steps. That was just doing a thing. And he's like, she, crap, she's got me there. That's, yeah. And at first, Loki tries to talk his way onto the train, but then Sylvie possesses him and it works. And I really like the character development in this episode. You know, Loki and Sylvie briefly talk about Loki's mother, and he says, purely decent sure she was your mother <laughs> and apparently Sylvie was told she was adopted way before Loki was love is hate I need to write that one down and he conjures up a pen and and like a, <laughs> that's, yeah I guess technically this episode could be considered filler it certainly is a bottle episode which is like Bottle episode used to mean, like, oh, we, we gotta do this one on the cheap. We spent our budget on other episodes, you know. We just gotta, okay, this episode is set in a, a set we already have. There's gonna be no special effects, nothing expensive. It's gonna be people talking for a really long time so that we can spend as little money as at all possible. And then this episode, they must have spent quite a bit on just the, the effects alone, so, yeah. But yeah, filler, since it doesn't really progress the plot, but it does develop their characters. You know, I'm, I'm certain that some people are frustrated that, you know, at the end of episode two, it looked like Sylvie was going to carry out the rest of her plan. And then this episode, she makes no progress in, in the plan at all. I like, you know, Syl Sylvie wakes up and Loki is singing and dancing and he sings in Asgardian and he still celebrates like an Asgardian and just great use of music in this episode. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna start analyzing the lyrics of the different songs like some of the Easter egg people did. That is way above my pay grade, but it's super cool that they fit in so many references that yeah. Now 
Let's see. And Loki thought he had a good metaphor for love. I guess that's kind of a running thing in this miniseries. Loki's bad at metaphors. And Loki tries to fix the tempad, and it breaks even worse. So, yeah. And... I like Sylvie explaining the enchantment, the how she has to like dig deep for memories and this kind of thing, and really great like the the bombshell. Everyone who works for the TVA are variants, just like us. They don't know that. That's you know, Andre the Black Nerd and others have pointed out that this basically, you know, that that it doesn't hit as as much as it should and. Yeah, I think it was Andre specifically who said it should basically have been the cliffhanger at the end of the episode instead of the, the blowing up of the arc. And, yeah, it I, I do wish. It's it's a really great, like, and apparently, like, at least one of these great people had actually guessed that the TVA people were variants. I really like the, like, it's it's a good scene of chaos when you see the, the rioting because people can't get on the arc. And then, you know, the, okay, I, I gotta admit, I am, I'm not 100% sure if they're on the planet and the moon is about to crash, or they're on the moon and the planet's about to crash, whatever. I'm going with, they're on the planet, and so the moon starts the final phase of destroying the planet. Very, very cool, and some more great action, and it's, you know, it's not actually a long take, but it looks like one, and the effort is appreciated. And, yeah, it looks like Loki and Sylvie are at least temporarily trapped on the planet at the end of the episode. Another great cliffhanger. Now, let's see. So, yeah, this episode didn't have Loki in a significant historical event, but it did have Sylvie tampering with memory, so that's a pretty good substitute. So yeah, Mobius misses jet skis because he used to he used to either be on them or or just want them before TVA. I I like the way that they made Loki bisexual too. That you know the Loki and Sylvia are sitting on the train talking about like his past, and she's like, "So you're a prince? There must have been princesses." maybe other princes, and she does like a, I don't know if I can recreate it, but she does like a raised eyebrow, winky kind of thing, as a, as a sort of, like, she, she's 100% cool with it, like, there's no judgment there, and, and just, and, you know, and he's like, bit of both, and just, yeah, that's a, that's a really, yeah, I like it, more please. Great Aliens reference with Hicks and Hudson in the credits. Not sure how Loki stopped that, that thing that was falling that almost hit him. He hasn't had telekinesis in the MCU before. I've seen some theorize that it's the Time Stone, but as New Rockstar points out, if Loki had a Time Stone in this episode, he'd have used it a dozen other times. So the featurette Meet Sylvia has clips from upcoming episodes, including Sylvie in restraints in the TVA building, so I'm really hoping that this does not, in fact, mean that she gets arrested and spends a really long time, like a significant chunk of at least one episode, without any ability to further engage in plans. I suppose it's not impossible that it could be part of a plan, just like how Loki let himself be arrested in the first Avengers movie. Yeah, it, it's... <sighs> Hypothetically, maybe she develops a new plan because she can't carry out the old one anymore. I could maybe it, it, uh, admit, it, imagine, I could maybe imagine if hypothetically at the very start of the next episode she contacts the TVA. You know, she, she can't, they can't jump between places anymore, but maybe she has a way to contact the TVA and tell them we're on you know, Lamentus one in in this so so yeah. I, I and and that enables them to come and arrest the two of them. I suppose some might say it's convenient that they run out of juice for the tempad right at the start of the episode, 
But I have to wonder if maybe that was what was the power source for sending all those reset charges at the end of episode 2, in which case, yeah, it probably is out of power. The reason Sylvie's upset is because they weren't meant to use again so soon. She was hoping they would be able to recharge it at the TVA, or maybe she would find something different to use or something, you know. And, yeah, that was for this one. So, yeah, as usual, I, I swear, the moment that there is an episode of a Marvel miniseries on Disney Plus that I don't love, I will say it. I will be 100% honest. And I will say, I do love this episode, but if you had told me, like, if you had given me a day between me finding out that it was going to be like a filler bottle episode kind of thing and me seeing it, I might have been so disappointed that I didn't end up loving it. But, yeah. And... That is it for this one. So, catch you next time.